Welcome back. Hearing feedback is a form of learning, even if the instructor or critiquer are not quite up to the task. Like in learning, you consider new information that can reshape how you think about your writing. As the exposition to your learning story, let's go through some of the principles of learning as set out by the American Psychological Association and apply them to hearing feedback. Beliefs and perceptions about intelligence affect how you learn. In other words, what you believe about your own intelligence affects how you embrace new knowledge or experience. Intelligence isn't fixed, it's malleable and incremental. A growth mindset helps you focus on your goals of learning rather than judge your performance. A growth mindset when hearing feedback helps you see how your work evolves as you write, rewrite, and edit your work, giving you the courage to make both big and small changes. What you already know affects your learning process. In some cases, you simply add new information. In others, you change how and what you know. Incorporating new knowledge or experience changes how you think about what you know. You've heard feedback on who you are and what you do all your life. You process feedback and make changes that work for you. You may need to make adjustments to how you process feedback on writing and remind yourself that it's about your work, not you. Self-regulation can be learned and assists the learning process. At this point in your life, you have your own ways of organizing information and developing projects. You enhance learning habits with strategic planning tools or other thinking skills. Regardless of the feedback you receive on your writing, you will process that feedback and rewrite in your own way. That's not to say you wouldn't benefit from learning new tools, especially when it comes to thinking and planning how you will move forward with your work. Learning is not limited by the stages of development. Not all learning habits evolve along with the developmental stages of human growth. In other words, you're never too young or too old to change and enhance your learning habits. Age and experience condition how you write and hear feedback, but you can also gain tools and develop new ways of improving your skills. Isn't that why you're here? Acquiring knowledge and skills is largely dependent on practice. Practice involves rehearsal and repetition over time, promoting new thinking skills that can be developed into something more complex or give you a deeper understanding of what you know. Good writing takes practice. Also, the more you create opportunities to hear feedback, the easier it gets to discriminate what will and will not help you rewrite. Learning is based on context, and applying it to other contexts is challenging. For example, you may be good at memorizing words in a different language, but find it challenging to speak or write in that language. Using your learning skills in another area of study can be confounding. Your old ways of thinking and writing may need to change based on the feedback you receive on your work. You may need to do additional research to better understand why. Your emo emotional well-being influences how well you learn. Understanding what you feel and why you feel the way you do can help keep your mind open to new information. Feelings are part of the learning process and denial is not your friend. Even the most constructive feedback can send you into a tizzy. No one knows you better than you. You can't avoid emotional reactions but you can recognize them for what they are so they don't stop you from doing a rewrite. You adopt new knowledge more deeply with goals of mastery rather than performance. When you try to outperform others, you're more concerned with how others see your abilities rather than enhancing them. It's easy to stay entrenched and resistant when receiving feedback, yet pretend otherwise. The more honest you are about how you feel, the more determined you are about your goals, the more effective the rewrite. Setting short-term goals motivates attaining long-term goals. Even if you fail to meet one goal, it doesn't mean you will fail to meet your long-term goals. Failure is integral to learning, nor does failure have anything to do with your ability. If you don't meet a short-term goal, meeting another can move your learning forward. 
Feedback can make you feel like a failure. With the right skills, you can learn how to turn failure into opportunity. I know it sounds self-helpy, but it's true. Avoid taking feedback personally, easy to say. Feedback is about your work, not you. A teacher's expectations affect your learning outcomes. In a classroom, it's natural for learners to want to please the instructor. You juggle placating with effective learning. Enhancing your thinking skills is more than compliance. When getting feedback, it's natural to want to please the critiquer. Take the time to process the feedback before jumping into a rewrite that may satisfy the critiquer, but changes your intention. Creative thinking is critical to learning and can be nurtured. Creative thinking is less about spontaneous bursts of inspiration and requires a disciplined mind. Gaining skills and playing with new concepts and ideas can cross domains into other areas of learning. Sometimes figuring out how to turn feedback into action can be instantaneous. More often that awareness slowly creeps into your psyche until your conscious mind can act on what you learn from the feedback received. You may even surprise yourself. With an understanding of some of the principles of learning and how they apply to hearing feedback, Arthur has an intellectual grasp of how to approach a rewrite of Textman. Your assignment is to take the Kiersey Temperament Test and the 16 Personalities Test. Both are abbreviated versions of the Myers-Briggs. Take some time to ponder your results. Talk at you soon.